Welcome everybody to Travel About. Here I have another quick update for you. You do not want to be doing what I'm doing. I will guarantee you that. I don't care what you're doing, it's better than what I'm doing. So we dropped our RV off this morning over to Epic RV and uh, the stairs are repaired. I'll take you around and show you that. He did a real nice job. They bent all this metal back in place for me. Put me a brand spanking new set of stairs there. Bent this back in for me. Uh, when I get back over, and I'll explain why I'm going back, uh, they're going to take care of this, and they're going to try to pull that bumper in. So let me tell you why we're back over here at the campground with water hoses and shit everywhere. Shit is a good word for this. Uh, even though I drained and I flushed and I did everything under the sun for about an hour and a half this morning, our black tanks were not flushed. So we are currently flushing them again. They do not have the ability to flush black tanks over there. So fortunately, we still have this site. So I am back across the street again, and I'm gonna show you this. And we are flushing, and I'm gonna flush this until that is clear, because they have to cut the pipe underneath. And they're fine if water comes out. They're not fine if that comes out. So don't ask me how this has happened. I don't understand why it wouldn't flush. I flushed the hell out of it for an hour this morning using the back thing here, the black tank flush. They told me that that black tank flush is not very good. So currently, I actually have a water hose shoved down the toilet with black tank valve open. And when that runs clear, I'm gonna do it again and again and again because we need to get this resolved today because I'm leaving tomorrow. And they are very nice about it. They let me bring it back over here and dump it myself and then I'll take it back over there and they'll finish the job. They're waiting. They have the bay open waiting for me. Well, if you thought I had it bad before, this is hail. This is me totally soaking wet in a freezing cold hailstorm out here trying to drain this stupid septic tank so they can cut the line and fix it. I've been flushing water down the toilet for about 35, 40 minutes. There is nothing coming out of this pipe but pure drinking water right now. I've taken the camper, the RV, moved it forward, slammed on the brake, moved it reverse, slammed on the brake 10, 10 15 times, sloshing everything around. Uh, when I just went back there and checked a second ago when the hail hit me, uh, there wasn't anything coming out. But I know when I move from here to 500 feet to the end of this road, there's going to be something coming out. I tell you what, guys, I'm very tempted to take a circle around the park and come back and hook it up one more time before I get over there and then tell me that, that they can't work on it. I don't want to do it in the rain, but you know what? I am soaked to the skin anyway, and that sounds like a pretty good idea. So I think I'm going to take a loop around the park, really shake it up, come back, open the drain cap again, and see what I see. Welcome back. I'm still pretty wet, <laughs> and it's drizzling a little bit, but, uh, you know, my hat is, like, soaked through. But, hey, guys, I'm back to the RV park again, and let me show you what we did. At my suggestion, I decided that I did not want them to remove the entire underbelly of this RV. All that up under there is what you got to remove to get to these cables for this stupid black tank. So what we did instead, and thank goodness they had the parts, I said, why don't you put a knife valve right there at the end? And they did. So what's happening now is as I drive around, or do whatever that black tank valve up there which is currently shut is very slightly leaking so this tube this pipe is getting filled with you know what but that knife valve is stopping it dead in its tracks so that means I can go ahead and get my connectors on take my cap off. yes something will come out of the cap I haven't found an RV where it doesn't yet so something's gonna dribble out a little dribble I get that hooked up get everything nice and tight Pull that valve up and swoosh, this pipe will empty right away. Uh, and that's that. Uh, let me show you what else happened today. I'm so excited. Progress is being made, guys. 
thanks to Epic RV in Helper, Utah. These guys are so nice over there. And I'm not saying that. They're not paying me. Okay, so I still got the damage. I'm going to talk to you a minute about that. That's uh, in works. But look what happened. Look at, look at this. I've got stairs. Brand new set of stairs in the little box that it fits in. All bolted up nice and pretty. So the stairs that I ruined have been replaced. Uh, that was a progressive insurance claim. They pushed this back in the best they could. They're going to hammer that little thing out here later. Uh, this is the air compressor. You still can't get it open because when I hit the bottom out, it smashed it upward. They're going to fix that. He showed me a way he's going to fix it. So here's the uh, latest update. You know my... You know my refrigerator is broken in this too. We've been living out of a little teeny fridge about this big and eating out. We have thousands of dollars in food bills we shouldn't be spending, but we are. And Refrigerator Alliance, oh my God, they went to the extreme level with me. And Alliance found me, Refrigerator, it's already on the truck and it's already on the way to Epic RV. So here's the deal. Tomorrow, we're gonna leave Helper, Utah. We're gonna drive to Delta, Utah, two and a half hours away. We're going to enjoy Delta until the refrigerator comes in. When the refrigerator comes in, in probably about a week, uh, they'll, we're going to schedule a time and we're going to drive back here two and a half hours and just let them have the RV for the day. And while they have it, they're going to uh, work on this. So what they're going to do is I think I, I asked them to do this. I asked them to grind this off, this piece. I asked them to break that weld and grind this off okay so just remove this side piece and then what they're going to do is they're going to drill a hole right here and they're going to hook it to the axle or something and they're going to try to crank this down and the reason they want to do it that way is they don't want to bend anything else they don't want to put a forklift or anything like that on it and have it slip uh, believe it or not the brakes are lights are still working so uh, it's not going to be pretty but the reason we need this done is we cannot open our door. We've already tried. The door hangs right around in here. So later on, we're going to go to a fab shop. Alliance will take care. I'm sorry, Progressive uh, Claim will take care of it. And these three bolts is what's holding this together down here. So we'll go to a fab shop. They'll take these off properly. They'll fab me a new piece, put the whole thing back together nice and pretty and paint it, and it'll look like brand new. That's further down the road. I don't know when or how we're going to get that one done. <laughs> I'm going to work with Alliance on that one as well. See if they can't give me any direction. Uh, maybe help me out with a place to go. So maybe I'll take it to Indiana. Maybe they'll do it there. I have no idea. Anyway, all good news all the way around. And also, I've been working with Lion's Head again. Uh, you already saw my video about my wheel. Pinhole in the wheel. It was the wheel, not the tire. Unfortunately, I'm riding on a spare. Um, and that's just the way it is for right now. That's it guys, we're back here in Helper, Utah. This was a long day and a wet day and a miserable day. Uh, but welcome to the life of full-time RV and that's all I can say. All you can do is laugh at this stuff. You can get frustrated, you can get mad. That don't get you nowhere. Just laugh at it, shrug it off. Man, that's hard to do, but that's, that's what I'm teaching myself to do. Laugh, shrug, whatever. Duh, da, bleh. That's life, whatever you want to say. Um, that's my update. I'll send you another video out when my fridge comes in, and we'll see how that goes.